Aaron, welcome back to, to Scottish football. Was this a move that made sense career-wise, but also personally as well? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's obviously a massive club, huge history. And um, when I uh, found out I had the opportunity to come, I didn't didn't take me long to say yes. So I'm very happy to be here. What were you weighing up at this stage of your career? Um, to enjoy my football, obviously Celtic challenges for trophies as well. I haven't uh, won many trophies in my career, so um, yeah, hopefully uh, I can be part of a successful team. I was going to say you've had a very good career, played for some great football clubs, but did you think the opportunity to challenge for trophies had perhaps passed you by? Obviously you can move to different leagues and maybe play in a strong team, but um, when Celtic was a opportunity, like I said before, um, it's, I couldn't turn it down, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the challenges ahead. You obviously know the manager pretty well, having played for him before. What do you think he will will bring out in you, and what do you like about the way he goes about his business? Yeah, hopefully, um, it's a it's a great time. Uh, the manager I obviously know from the national team for a few years. Um, he likes to play good football, um, play on the deck, quick quick triangle uh, patterns. and um, I enjoyed it a lot when I was working with him in the national team. So it obviously makes it a little bit uh, easier for me, uh, the transition, because I know sort of what he likes. So, um, But yeah, hopefully it all works out for, for me and for everyone. I read an interview from you, it was about 2016, you were talking about the manager, you were, you were praising him, but you are also saying he was quite an intimidating character. Has, has, has he changed at all in the last few years, or is he exactly the same as you remember him? He's still intimidating, yeah. Uh, I've, uh, <laughs> yeah, he just has that, that aura about him, so, um, yeah, um, I don't know what to say, he's, he's, done, he's done an amazing job so far at Celtic, and I'm sure he will continue to do well. When a manager has that aura, is that what can bring the best out of players because they, they want to play well for their manager? Yeah. Um, yeah, you obviously you have to, he keeps you on your toes um, and uh, pushes you. And yeah, that's, that's what, what it's like for me anyway. The lure of Champions League football, was that a big one for you as well coming here? Yeah, that's obviously something. Um, Amazing. Uh, I've no, obviously never played in the Champions League, and um, yeah, I'm just I'm not really thinking about that. Just thinking about working hard in training and uh, trying to get in the best shape possible to help the team. You've always been quite a forward-thinking midfielder. Am I right in saying that you've played a bit deeper for Australia of late as well? Yeah, early, early on in my career in Australia, I played in like a double double pivot, um, but. And then through the middle of my career, maybe a bit more attacking. But yeah, lately with the national team, I was playing as a lone six. So yeah, I'm, wherever I play, I don't mind. Just, yeah, I'm just here to help. Adam, you spent time here a few years ago at St Mirren. What, what made you think that now was a good time to come back to Scotland? Um, a lot of things. Uh, it made sense. The big club, the fans are amazing. The tro they they challenge for trophies. Um, I've also got like family connections here. Um, the manager. There's lots of things that uh, make sense. Um, but like I said, it's it's a special club, and when it was a chance for me to come, I couldn't say no. And you've obviously spent time with Tim Roderick in the national team. Has he given you any advice about coming to Celtic? Yeah, I messaged him the other day and asked for some tips, but he just said, uh, you don't need any tips. It's an easy easy dressing room to to be comfortable in. And um, yeah, obviously, I know the manager, how he likes to train. And um, yeah, he said he'll enjoy it. So hopefully he's right. Hi, Aaron. Sorry, just on how this move came about. When was the first sort of time you heard of Celtic's interest and how quickly did this all move? It's probably about five, day, five, six days ago, I think. Um, 
yeah, it all happened pretty fast because I was um, very keen to come. So, um, yeah, it didn't take long. Was that a phone call with the manager or whatnot that, that, that sealed the deal? Yeah, phone call and obviously other things. Um, the, then the agents talk to the club and all that. But once I spoke to the manager, I was 100% well, wanted to come. Okay. Just quickly ask, just going out around saying your, your wife's from Glasgow, is that right? So have you always kept a connection with the city since she first came here, first played here? Yeah, I've always been. Um, my wife is from from Scotland, Glasgow, so I've always been back and forth um, throughout for the last 10, 11 years or whatever. So, yeah. Does that help you then in terms of settling its its surroundings? You know. Yeah, it was a it was an easy job for the the liaison the liaisons. <laughs> so they didn't need to find me a house or tell me which areas are nice or which places I'd be comfortable to live or everything was, I know a lot about uh, the city, so. Is your wife's family full of Celtic fans or do I not want to ask their allegiances? How does it break down? <laughs> her, her father is a big Celtic fan, so um, he's happy, very happy, and hopefully I can make him proud. Favourite son-in-law, hold on. <laughs> I'm the only one, I think, so <laughs> I must be.